I was kind of thinking about this farm type of rural countryside. Moving from village to village back then, if you look at the maps, when newer apprenticeships come in, which might mean that Harry could say to a few of the lads, let's let's move on together to the next town and see if we can get more work kind of thing, you know. So, I mean, if you've got chimney building skills and brick laying and all that, you can do all kinds of repointing. You can kind of, you know, if you've got a kind of few a few lads with you, you can do all kinds of odd jobs along along the road kind of thing. You couldn't apply for a job on email, you know. Uh, so you uh, yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? I'm like kind of imagining how how we met. Um, and I really like the idea of as both being kind of more more smaller village growing up and trying to get out and and trying to yeah. Trying to, because the whole thing of moving to the bigger city, you know, with more job opportunities, and and obviously Manchester's like flourishing with the industrial kind of new trade that's kind of coming through, and you know, it's exciting, isn't it? The dreams of the big yeah. city, city when you're a little kid, and you just can't wait to get away from home. And I mean, the scribbly stuff in the registrar, it makes Anne also seem much more switched on and they're in it together from mm. what, what we can figure out and what we've talked about there's something about making a plan to go to the big city together that's in this song that might be a reoccurring theme a tune and there might be a little bit where we kind of sing it together um, yeah. while we see images of me getting down on one knee maybe maybe there are images of just walking like in the country standing over a really beautiful view but if you were a farm girl and you grew up on that farm you would probably want to run away from that farm to with Harry um, so that's also an opportunity or a possibility um, because yeah it's that it's about how they got to know each other and if you know did Harry build a small croft a small outhouse for the animals with a few of his mates on your land and that's how you got to know each other if Harry's done his apprenticeship and he's got funds and he's dead shy and and yet you and can see that there's the potential of a future with Harry that could break her out of her loop of marrying whatever village boy mm -hmm. and then ending up having to inherit the farm. You know, if, you, if you've got other younger siblings that you, you, you're you having to grow up and whatever, it's always the boys that get the education instead of the girls. Yeah. Stuff, and you can't go to school like you, younger boys do because you're the oldest girl and you have to take care of everything or... It's all that stuff that we we can we need to figure out the backstory so that we can bring those types of things into our future arguments in a way. So we could almost have a <laughs> romantic, beautiful filmic kind of flashback with almost like a rose filtered kind of, oh, then were the days of first we fell in love and <laughs> You know, oh, she nogging amongst the cows. You know, oh, when well, I saw her mucking out the pig pen. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew her just eyes knew. just went straight through me. And I, just, <laughs> I just froze, and her pupils went all through me like, and I just felt oh, I knew her already. Who's this strange fella staring at me? <laughs> Yeah, and maybe you thought I had some kind of strange knock on the head or something because I was wasn't behaving quite right and I couldn't get my words out. <laughs> but but yeah, it, it, you you just know when you know, don't you? Like it's it's like body physical, like what do they what do they call those hormones? 
think did it did it even know about hormones well, back then hormones <laughs> i don't think it did oh, i don't think i knew anything about hormones right tell you what though right I'm, i've been practicing my Ari, Ari accent so what, what i think we should do right. is chat in like yorkshire because i keep going into okay London. well i don't mine's not the best either so we'll just right. keep doing this right i'm just gonna right if you were right right so I, I was just wondering how you actually you know make make the cows like pregnant and what because you you you, you birth the the foals, that's a but, quite interesting uh, question actually uh, you, one like, that well, i'm pondering over right now uh, def, uh well, they just sort of mount each other don't they so i think you just got to get them get them excited and then they just sort of off the off they go off the pot have you never have you never seen a cow mounting a, another cow well no i was just asking you one i if you've been birthing like cows you must be like quite experienced in the other side of like making them and i, I don't know I'm just what, like to, making a cow like no what like you trying make, to insinuate there me, no you're taking <laughs> you t- no i mean how do you get them like you know because you've got your bull separate yeah. from from the cows and you're milking the cows but how do you keep the milk coming and when the cow's been born and yeah, I just wondered how it all worked, <laughs> really. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, well, I might have to Google that. <laughs> right, you might you might have to come up with like uh a taking the <laughs> out of me answer, because you know what, I'm just trying to create really awkward conversation with you just so I can get to know you in it. <laughs> That's fine. Well, you know, it's it's nice for someone's taking interest in what I'm doing. Uh well, I usually yeah. just get ignored around here, so it's nice that someone actually actually wants to get to know me. Like, well, I can usually see you working, I keep work... myself to itself. Everyone, everyone does me adding, to be honest. I, I just see you working really hard and, and, and taking care of everything, and, and I just thought, well, you could take a break, and I could like muck that pig pen out, and you could just tell me how how things work around here. You know, I'm just. Uh, I mean, if you want to, there is a there is a, a skill to looking at a pig pen. It's not it's not as easy as it looks, actually. You've got to get the pigs on side, and then you've got to make sure that they're all right, so they're not getting off. Because you can get quite aggressive from pigs. Right, I'm not going in there then. No, I'll be fine. I'll, I could help oh. you. I mean, it's I think well, you've got your own work to be what? doing. No, they eat all kinds of things. What if they try and eat me? Well, to be honest, actually, pigs are cannibals, so. A cannibal, well, not a cannibal, because cannibal's like a human that eats humans, but, like, I mean, if you were, if you died and you were there, they'd eat you. Like, they'd eat you. They'd eat, they'd eat anything, pigs. Oh, yeah. yeah They're not that different to pigs, though, to be honest. Like, I've got quite a good affinity with the pigs. They, they, they comfort me, actually. Sometimes I'd rather hang out with pigs than hang out with me, me family, to be honest, because it's just... There's too many of us in that house. They're just, there's always something going on. There's always people arguing or disagreements. And it's just, there's just no space to like, just be on your own and do do your own thing. So I just, I just go hang out with pigs. They just go. They're cute and they're little as well, ain't it? But it's when they grow up, they c- c- cause trouble. Like my family's is just like the same as you. That's why I left, you know. You left, yeah. Why yeah. did you leave then? Was it just a bit? Well, just it, just a bit unpleasant. Sounds like similar to you. It's just like too many mouths to feed, too many bloody yeah. arguments all the time, no future. So yeah, just I had just been thinking about how to get a trade and 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 slowly move on and and learn to get to the big city with with like skills under me belt, you know. So the, that's aye my- aye. That's no, I agree. I've yeah. I've been watching you working, and I, I'm very impressed. You you've got some, you've got some skill, and I can, I could tell when we first spoke that you have ambition. You're not like the other blokes. They, they just are settled, and they, you know, they're a little bit crude. And I'm not. I'm not. I've got no time for crudeness. I'm. I, I want. I want to talk to someone that actually is interested in in, <laughs> and is ambitious and. Want something more than this pigsty? Do you know? Like, 
Well, you must you be deserve, more than you deserve it. Yeah, I mean, you're making me blush, like, but you deserve to be treated like a lady, not like the ruffians down pub and the places and the, and the things I've seen. And, 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 it, and I even just thought then that, like, if you wanted to get rid of a dead body, you'd just feed it to pigs, wouldn't you? Like, you... I well, there's been there's been stories of that happening around here, you know, like, yeah, people times are tough, thought... you know. Yeah. You never know when you're going to get banged on the head, open door late at night, and some ruffians been stalking out your place. You, you got to keep your your eyes peeled, you know. Yeah. Have you only had any bad experience with ruffians over well, your that's, time? Well, that's moved why, around a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. I, that's why I always like try and stay with a group, isn't it? Like, yeah, because you don't want to get jumped on when you buy it yourself so i guess a couple of the lads once we we kind of did our apprenticeship and, and, and work got scarce and we knew we had enough skills we decided to to you know move on down the road and see where work took us so looking for more experience and i'm damned if i'm going to be in manchester as a really successful master builder that's my dream uh, Is it Manchester? With, with team, yeah. Uh, there's so much work there and uh, it's just booming. So uh, my dream... Sounds is, exciting. Yeah. I, 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 my dream is to, is to really, like, just find the right girl for me and, and, and make, make ourselves rich in the city, you know? It's about escaping, isn't it? It's about something more. Yeah, it's not escaping it's on your own. Opportunity. There's more. There's more for us to do than here in this godforsaken place. It's just that's my dream too. To to escape and to to make something of myself. I mean, I don't know what the opportunities are like for young women around there, but surely there's more to do than than here. Well, I, well, that's the thing. Like, I I would like expected to take care of my, my parents that were, were like not doing so well and 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 that was my future like my, I could see my brothers had trades and that and just because I was a young man and someone had to stay and oh, I, I just oh I, I'll send them money back you know I really That's will good, yeah. do you know I, there are so many so many things I need help with like I can see you running paying money with with the milkman and, and 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 like understanding like how to sell and buy things and i'm not so good with with money and business but you've got that on, head on I i've always thought, thought of myself as quite business minded like you know like i know i can barter like anyone and i think i think i could be a good help to you i mean i wouldn't just want to be some trophy wife you know i want to i want to challenge myself i, I don't want to just be stuck at home like waiting twiddling my thumbs that's not my that's not the life for me I've spoke to you more than I've spoke to most people and I've been able to actually be who I am because I just don't think many people actually know who I am and I don't want them to know who I am because they just laugh and they, and they call me me silly and a stupid girl and they don't understand that actually there's more to me than that and there's more to me than pigs and styes and cows and just being a girl. I, I, I've got more to me than that. But yeah. I just, I, I, I keep myself to itself because I just, I know what they think and I, I've got no time for it. But with you, but with you, you actually listen. Like, you don't meet many people that actually listen and understand and... I've got I think we're different. I've got eyes and I can see you running around everywhere taking care of everyone, you know, and and, and that all the lads get all this food made and then you gotta take care of little ones and you oh, they'd be lost without you. But would you not feel bad if you ran off? I mean, I'd, I'd I love mean, you, love you to come with me. And I, I don't know if you believe in love at first sight, but that's how I feel about you, Anne. Oh, stop it. <laughs> no one's ever been so nice to me in my life. I'm, I'm blushing. Well, you're, you're the sweetest you're thing anyone's ever said. 
It's I, so beautiful. I just, I would feel bad, but also I just, I just want to be happy. And I'd send them money and I'd, I do stuff, but there's too there's too many of us anywhere. There's not enough room, you know. There's there's going to be another baby on the way soon, and I just I'm just I just feel like I need to escape, and okay. I'm sure no my pressure. family would understand. I'm sure I'm sure they'd be sad and they'd miss my help, but at the end of the day, like it's one less mouth to feed, and right. if okay. I can if I can earn money and and and, and help them from afar then maybe maybe that's the best way you know i'm well, not meant to be here I, I i could tell that from the first time i saw you so i'm just gonna put a little proposal like a business proposal and leave it with you for a few nights because it's just gonna take us a few more days and then we'll be off see and i was thinking you know if if you if i left some of my wages with you and, and Maybe you could explain somehow, or, or just leave it on the table. And you know, two nights time, like if I, if you light your candle, I'm coming out. I know you're coming with me, and, and if you don't, then that's okay. You know, I, I, I'll write to you, but I'd love to to get down on one knee and do it all proper, like, and and, and move to Manchester with you and me and our. Or dreams of the city, yeah. I'll def I'll think it through. It's just it's just happened so fast and it's it's a it's a lot to take in and uh I have me me doubts but also my head's telling me one thing and my heart's telling me another and I just you gotta go with your instincts, haven't you? And yeah. I'll think about it. I it's promise you. I'll right. think about it, right. and I'll light a candle, and I'll I'll let you know. And but thank you. It it sounds it sounds more than I've ever dreamed of, and I've just got to I've just got to think about it. I've just got to think about it. But I think I think I'd love that. I think I'd really love that. Wow, you'd make me the proudest man, and it's taken me days to even speak to you. Put a look up courage, like, because I just, I just love you already, and I, we do hardly know each other, and but I'll be the best husband you'll ever want. I promise. And I believe that, Harry. I believe that. I can see that because I know you. Even though I don't know you, I feel like I do know you, and I think that we'd have a great life together, and. I'm counting my blessings that you came along when you did because I just thought I'd be stuck on this farm forever. And then you turned up and you give me that look and you were just, you were just different and something was lighted inside of me and you've lighted that inside of me and and it was always ready to be be lit and you lighted it. And I don't want to put that flame out. I don't. So we could almost have a <laughs> romantic, beautiful, filmic kind of flashback with almost like a rose filtered kind of, oh, then were the days of first we fell in love and, <laughs> you know, oh. She Nogging was, amongst the cows. You know, oh, when well, I saw her mucking out the pig pen. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew her just eyes knew. just went straight through me. I, I, <laughs> I just froze and the goosebumps went all through me like, and I just felt oh, I knew I her already. Who's this strange fella staring at me? <laughs> yeah, and maybe you thought I had some kind of strange knock on the head or something because I was, wouldn't be even quite right and I couldn't get my words out. <laughs> But, but yeah, it, it, you, you just know when you know, don't you? Like it's it's like a body, physical, like what are they, what do they call it? those hormones? Thing do they do they even know about hormones? Back then hormones. <laughs> I don't think they did. Don't I don't think I knew anything about hormones. 
Right, tell you what though, right? I'm, I've been practicing my Ari, Ari accent, so what, what I think we should do right. is chat in like Yorkshire because I keep going into Okay. London. Well, I don't, mine's not the best either, so we'll just right. keep doing this. Right, I'm just going to, right, if you were, right. Right. So I, I was just wondering how you actually, you know, make make the cows like pregnant and what, because you, 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 you birth the Default. That's a quite interesting uh, question, actually. Uh, you, one like, that I'm oh. pondering over right now. Uh, Def, uh, well, they just sort of mount each other, don't they? So I think you just got to get them, get them excited, and then they just sort of off they off they go, off they pop. Have you never have you never seen a cow mounting a, another cow? Well, no, I was just asking you one. I if you've been birthing like cows, you must be like quite experienced in the other side of like making them and i, I don't know I'm just what, like to... making a cow like no what like you trying make... to insinuate there <laughs> no you're taking <laughs> you t... <laughs> no i mean how do you get them like you know because you've got your bull separate yeah. from from the cows and you're milking the cows but how do you keep the milk coming and when the cow's been born and yeah i just wondered how it all worked <laughs> really i don't know i couldn't tell you um well, i might have to google that <laughs> right you might you might have to come up with like uh a taking the piss out of me answer because you know what i'm just trying to create really awkward conversation with you just so i can get to know you in it <laughs> that's fine well you know it's it's nice for someone to take an interest in what i'm doing uh well, I usually yeah. just get ignored around here, so it's nice that someone actually, actually wants to get to know me. Like, well, I can usually see you working, I keep work... myself to itself. Everyone, everyone does me adding, to be honest. I, I just see you working really hard and, and and taking care of everything, and and I just thought, well, you could take a break, and I could like muck that pig pen out, and you could just tell me how how things work around here. You know, I'm just. Uh, I mean, if you want to, there is a it, there is a, a skill to looking at a pig pen. It's not it's not as easy as it looks. Actually, you've got to get the pigs on side, and then you've got to make sure that they're all right, so they're not getting off. Because you can get quite aggressive from pigs. Right, I'm not going in there then. No, I'll be fine. I'll, I could help you. Yeah. I mean, it's I think well, you've got your own work to be what? doing. No, they eat all kinds of things. What if they try and eat me? Well, to be honest, actually, pigs are cannibals, so. A cannibal, well, not a cannibal, because cannibal's like a human that eats humans, but, like, I mean, if you were, if you died and you were there, they'd eat you. Like, they'd eat you. They'd eat, they'd eat anything, pigs. Bloody hell. You're not They're not that different to pigs, though, to be honest. Like, I've got quite a good affinity with the pigs. They, they, they comfort me, actually. Sometimes I'd rather hang out with pigs than hang out with me, me family, to be honest, because it's just... There's too many of us in that house. They're just, there's always something going on. There's always people arguing or disagreements. And there's just, there's just no space to like, just be on your own and do, do your own thing. So I just, I just go hang out with pigs. They just go. They're cute and they're little as well, ain't it? But it's when they grow up, they cause trouble. Like my family's is just like the same as you. That's why I left, you know. You left, yeah. Why yeah. did you leave then? Was it just a bit? Well, just it, just a bit unpleasant. Sounds like similar to you. It's just like too many mouths to feed, too many bloody yeah. arguments all the time, no future. So yeah, just I had just been thinking about how to get a trade and 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 slowly move on and and learn to get to the big city with with like skills under me belt, you know. So the, that's aye my, aye. That's no, dream. I agree. I've yeah. I've been watching you working, and I, I'm very impressed. You you've got some, you've got some skill, and I can, I could tell when we first spoke that you have ambition. You're not like the other blokes. They, they just are settled, and they, you know, they're a little bit crude. And I'm not. I'm not. I've got no time for crudeness. I'm, I I want I want to talk to someone that actually is interested in in <laughs> and is ambitious and. Want something more than this pigsty? Do you know? Like, 
Well, you must be more than this. You deserve it. Yeah, I mean, you're making me blush, like, but you deserve to be treated like a lady, not like the ruffians down pub and the places and the, and the things I've seen. And, 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 it, and I even just thought then that, like, if you wanted to get rid of a dead body, you'd just feed it to pigs, wouldn't you? Like, you... I, well, there's been, there's been stories of that happening around here, you know, like, yeah. People Times are tough, got... you know. Yeah. You never know when you're going to get banged on the head, open door late at night, and some ruffians been stalking out your place. You, you got to keep your your eyes peeled, you know. Yeah. Have you only had any bad experience with ruffians over well, your that's, time? Well, that's moved why, around a lot. Oh yeah, you? I, that's why I always like try and stay with a group, isn't it? Like, yeah, because you don't want to get jumped on when you buy it yourself so i guess a couple of the lads once we we kind of did our apprenticeship and, and, and work got scarce and we knew we had enough skills we decided to to you know move on down the road and see where work took us so looking for more experience in in manchester as a really successful master builder that's my dream uh, Is it manchester with, with team yeah uh there's so much work there, and uh, it's just booming. So uh, my dream sounds is, exciting. Yeah, my dream is to is to really like just find the right girl for me and and, and make make ourselves rich in the city. You know, that sounds fantastic. I yeah. mean. It's about escaping, isn't it? It's about something more opportunity. There's more, there's more for us to do than here in this godforsaken place. It's just that's my dream too, to to escape and to to make something of myself. I mean, I don't know what the opportunities are like for young women around there, but surely there's more to do than than here. Well, I, well, that's the thing. Like, I I were like expected to take care of my my parents that were, were like not doing so well and and. And that was my future. Like my, I could see my brothers had trades and that, and just because I was a young one and someone had to stay, and oh, I, I just, oh, I, I'll send them money back. You know, I really That's will. Good, yeah. Do you know I, there are so many, so many things I need help with. Like I can see you running, paying money with with the milkman and. And, and and like understanding like how to sell and buy things and I'm not so good with with money and business but you've got that on, head on I I've always thought, thought of myself as quite business minded like you know like I know I can barter like anyone and I think I think I could be a good help to you I mean I wouldn't just want to be some trophy wife you know I want to I want to trophy I mean, wife well I got I'm, it I'm just I'd be saying. lucky if I'd be lucky if I could have you but but uh, I know you're more skilled than me, is because my mate does the business like. I'm not getting too far. Ahead. I'm just saying I've always dreamt of having my own place and my own vocation, and not just being like a trophy wife. You know, like I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to just be married and just be, you no. know, just pick part of furniture. I like, know what I'm, you're saying. I'm more I know. than being a part of furniture. I want to be. You want, you want to be like. Not like, like this took care of woman that don't do now. You want to be useful. You want to be exactly. there doing, I doing the business. Right. I wouldn't want and to change that. <laughs> I, I've got to. I've got to do stuff. I, I, I've got. I've got to. You know, use my brain. I, I want to. I want to challenge myself. I, I don't want to just be stuck at home like waiting, twiddling my thumbs. That's not my. That's not the life for me. Right, so I want to be gonna... somewhere exciting where I can wow. do stuff and be who I want to be. Yeah, do you think then if you're saying like you might consider maybe like coming with me, might definitely consider it. Would you... I'd like to get to know you a bit more first. I mean, right. we're practically strangers still, although I do feel like I've known you all my life. I I, I I've spoke to you more than I've spoke to most people and I've been able to actually be who I am because I just don't think many people actually know who I am and I don't want them to know who I am because they just laugh and they, and they call me me silly and a stupid girl and they don't understand that actually 
it was more to me than pigs and styes and cows and just being a girl. I, 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 I keep myself to itself because I just, I know what they think and I, I've got no time for it. But with you, but with you, you actually listen. Like, you don't meet many people that actually listen and understand. And I've got eyes and I can see you running around everywhere, taking care of everyone, you know, and, and, and that all the lads get all this food made and then you got to take care of little ones and you, oh, they'd be lost without you. But would you not feel bad if you ran off? I mean, I'd, I'd I love mean, you. Love you to come with me, and I, I don't know if you believe in love at first sight, but that's how I feel about you, Anne. Oh, stop it! <laughs> no one's ever been so nice to me in my life. I'm, I'm blushing. Well, you're beautiful. The sweetest you're thing anyone's ever said. You're I, so beautiful. I just, I would feel bad, but also I just. I just want to be happy, and I'd send them money, and I'd. I do stuff, but there's too there's too many of us anywhere. There's not enough room, you know. There's there's going to be another baby on the way soon, and I just I'm just I just feel like I need to escape, and okay. I'm sure no my pressure. family would understand. I'm sure I'm sure they'd be sad and they'd miss my help, but at the end of the day, like it's one less mouth to feed, and right. if hey. I can hey. if I can earn money and and and, and help them from afar, then. Maybe, maybe that's the best way, you know. I'm well, not meant to be here. I, I could tell that from the first time I saw you. I'd love, I'd love to, to get down on one knee and do it all proper like and, and, and move to Manchester with you and me and our, our dreams of the city here. Yeah. I think I'd love that. I think I'd really love that. Wow. It's just going to take us a few more days and then we'll be off, see, and... I was thinking, you know, if, if you, if I left some of my wages with you and, and maybe you could explain somehow or, or just leave it on the table and, you know, two nights time. Like I'll think it through. It's just, it's just happened so fast and it's, it's a, it's a lot to take in and, my head's telling me one thing and my heart's telling me another and I just, you've got to go with your instincts, haven't you? And if you don't, then that's okay, you know, I, I, I'll write to you. But, and I'm it's, sending money back all the time to, you, to your family and mine. I'll let you know. And, but thank you. It, it, sounds, it sounds more than I've ever dreamed of. And... Yeah, just... I just love you already, and I, we do hardly know each other, Anne. But I'll be the best husband you'll ever want. I promise. And I believe that, Harry. I believe that. I can see that because I know you. I think that we'd have a great life together, and I, I'm counting my blessings that you came along when you did. Because I just thought I'd be stuck on this farm forever, and well, then you turned yeah. up. And you give me that look and you were just, you were just different and something was lighted inside of me and you've lighted that inside of me and, and it was always ready to be, to be lit and you lighted it and I don't want to put that flame out. I don't. When, when the stars come out, uh, uh, about an hour after sundown, we what we're being watched. I shouldn't even be talking to you this much. So, so hey, don't tonight, worry. Don't worry. Right. Oh, you've made me heart blossom and burst out my chest. Yeah, I'm coming. You're so sweet. I see you later. All right. Right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Harry. Right. The morning. Where's me dinner, love? Hey. Oh, oh, thank. Oh, you've come home, have you? Have you got I, nothing in it? Oh, you, you've well, graced me with your presence, have you? Oh, you give, I, I, sh I should I be grateful for that. Well, what you normally you give it to dog. It's in. Your dinner. Your dinner's gone cold. What time do you call this? I, I've told you before. I've asked you. Why well, would I want to come back to this? Oh, there we go again. There we go again. Being horrible. 
who, who even are you anymore? Who even are you? This isn't the bloke I married. This isn't the, the life that I wanted. I've been sat at home running your business, running running everything, while you go out, become become a brute. I have never batted you, but because I oh. work there every day. Oh, is that a threat? I'm going down a pub with, with, with me mates and getting. Should I be glad that you haven't batted me? Should I be grateful? You know should, that... should, I, should I be, be happy about that? Oh, he's not battered me. What, what a great thing to say. This, this is not the person that I met back in the back in the days on that farm. Do you even remember that? Do you even remember the person you know, that the amount of things that brought me here? And I made blokes. this business a success. I made us both a success. You wouldn't be going out with your mates. You wouldn't be, be able to afford it. It wasn't for me looking after your money. And Most I, you don't even give me your wife. money. I You're sit my here property. while you go out every day living the life of bloody... Bloody Riley! And yeah, I'm I just built thinking, this. What am I supposed to do? This is not what I I asked for. You're my property, right? Legally, I am your property. I am not your property. Legally, you do if not you, own me. If you do something, right? I'm the one that gets brought to court, not you. I'm the oh, one that gets well, put inside. What about inside. if you do something? Because you're the one off gallivanting. You're an the, absolute beast. I'm a special police constable, right? I've got to keep reputation up. Oh, I don't get oh, no yeah. time oh, off. I've got to go down that, the pub oh, to get I'm some rest from all this. Well, oh, I, I should feel yeah. so, so grateful and worthy to be with you. You yeah, can't you even look after your own wife, never mind the pe other people. Yeah, you know, I've got. I haven't got time to 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 do everything, have I? I've oh, got you've so never got time. You've got time to go to the pub and do God knows and what you, while I'm sat here. Do you not hear? Do you not think I hear gossip about you and, and all all the people that you've been chatting up? Gossip and, about and me? I don't go anywhere. What gossip are you hearing about me? Oh, you know what gossip I'm on about. Oh, I know what gossip. Oh, well, do I? What What's that gossip then? Go on, tell me. <sighs> Why do you think I'm not coming home? I've got nothing to say. Oh, you yeah. are delusional. That beer is going to your head. All that lager and all the spirits. You don't it's, want it's me. It's turning you, you into a crazy you, person. You've never wanted... You ain't wanted me in years, have you? Hey? I haven't wanted you in years. Why would I want this? Why would I want this? You want what? You weren't the I know same person. You if you were the same person that you were when I met you, if you hadn't changed into some police constable that, that thinks he's better than everyone, then maybe, maybe I would be more coming to you more affectionate but why would I want to be look at right. you I've seen you with that posh who's lost his missus who wants to remarry and I know that you want baby that I can't give you right and I know oh, you don't even want to be in this with me oh, right you are creating stories in your head to make yourself feel better true. but acting it's like true. an absolute villain I know I can't give you one. I know I can't make you happy. So what, what on earth am I supposed to do, eh? What Look, do you want me I've to do? I've been with you this long. Do you think it would have been a thing if you weren't acting this way? Do you, you, do you think that it would have mattered? I know I'm, what, what happened when I married you. I know, I know, I knew, I've known for a long time. It doesn't, it, you're talking absolute rubbish. You're just paranoid. It's not right, you and me. We just we just don't even get on as actual friends or human beings anymore. There's there's you know nothing you, between us. That right. That's it's the one gone. thing you've got right. Everything's just <laughs> gone, and uh, uh, and the more I give you, the more you take, and and I, I just don't know what to do. I'm just the more you uh, give me, the more I take. What do I take? You don't even give me anything anymore. You stop giving me money. You stop. The things that I need to keep this house running, the things I need to do to keep this business running. What have that's you given you're gonna, me? That's because you're gonna run off in it and take all money and, and and go off with some other bloke. Well, I'm gonna run off if you keep treating me this way. So it's a bit of a cycle here, isn't it? Because you aren't giving me anything and I'm unhappy, and then I'm unhappy. So yeah, I probably will bugger off soon because what is this life for me? Well then, so go on then. Bugger off and stop being so bloody. Born idol and so and don't tell bloody... me you haven't been sleeping with other people because do you know what don't I, tell me I, you I... haven't been sleeping with other people because I've seen what you like when you come in I'm not daft well, I where else, must, where else is, is a man supposed to get any affection eh oh not there here. it is there it is so you're admitting it are you you're admitting it so you'd rather be with anyone else but me and then you wonder why sat here like a fool 
sat there no, and seen you out I will go out with that posh. Maybe I will. Maybe you'll you know, treat me nicer you, than you. I've seen you flirting with women. Oh, and, yeah. well, you've got to get a flirt possible. somewhere, haven't I? Because you give me nothing. You're, you're swinging from the women. Oh, I'm back, swinging, am I? Swinging. swinging. Backwards and forwards. And next minute you're like with the tough, with the, oh, yeah. the rich bachelors, you know. And I can oh, see yeah. you eyeing yeah, up you your jealous? possibility. Does it make you jealous, does it? Does it make you jealous? Do you care enough to do anything about it? No, you don't. Yeah. First on ladder I were. Yeah, you just oh, used me yeah. to get to next Did next I? Level. Did I? Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Is that what you believe? Well, there's no going back. And is there... No going back, no going forwards, because you just think I'm just some. some... Right. No, I, 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 I you have to just think you don't want me, right? And what we've got, right, is a business relationship. It's not working out, and I don't know how to move A business forward, relationship. That yeah, we, we ain't got no romance. If I wasn't doing it, you know, it's all right for you. Go out. Do your job, piss. Sometimes you don't even do your job properly because you don't. You've got other people doing it for you now. You don't even need to do it. But I'm still older. there, cooking the books, making sure everything goes right, so I you can't... can go out and get drunk, and I get nothing. I can't do what I used to do, you know. With all the injuries I've had over the years, I'm getting older. Now. I have to have well, the. Why young you talk to me about that instead of going drinking it away? Drinking never, never helped no one. I know you manage a lot, right? Oh, well, you haven't well a thank, clue you, what thank I have. you for finally admitting that. You haven't a clue what I have to deal with out there. Well, why don't you tell me? Gossip. Why don't you tell me? You never hear I don't know. Of course I don't know, because you, you you don't speak to me. You used to speak to me. We used to actually have conversations. That's why I liked you in the first place, because you were different. You actually listened. You actually spoke. We actually... And I, don't know, I don't know if you like want to be with women or you want to be with men, but I just know you don't want to be with me. Yeah. Not when you like this, no. Why would right. I want to be with, with this? Right, I'll, I'll just go sleep somewhere else then. I'll find dinner right, where I'll... Okay. I'll slam right, the then. door on you.